Hi, I'm Christy Clover with Raising Clovers, and today I'm doing a little pantry challenge. My girlfriend, Jessica Fisher, over at Good Cheap Eats, did a pantry challenge this January. And we got together for a play date, and I had been telling her that we were trying to save some money in our food budget. And I was newly inspired to try to clean out our pantry and clean out our freezer. What I have been realizing is that my freezer is like completely cram packed full of food. Food that I don't know what's in there. So I actually today took some time and cleaned out my freezer in the garage. The one in the garage was pretty organized. It was mainly the one in the house that needed some help. So I wanted to walk you guys through how I'm going to be organizing my freezer as well as how I'm meal planning with what I found in my freezer. So I intend to get a good four weeks of meal plans based off of what I found in my freezer. So first let me show you the list. This is the handy dandy list that I just made. So what I did first is I took all the food out of my freezer and organized it on the floor. I kind of put it in groups of pre-made meals, freezer meals, as well as just like meat, you know, just raw meat, you know, the frozen fruit, the frozen veggies. But I tried to take a look at what I had in my freezer and kind of categorize it. That's the best way to explain it. And then I put it all back in, in order and together so I can easily find things in my freezer versus digging through to the bottom, trying to search for that fish that I knew I needed. And speaking of fish, I found so many little like vacuum sealed packs of mystery fish. I have no clue what it is. So I'm gonna have to get creative with how to cook those in a recipe. So what I did first is I organized it by whether or not I was going to be putting the food in the house or in the garage. So I tried to kind of figure out what I was putting where, and then I put it all on my list. So once I knew what I had in the freezer, then I just separated it out. What's gonna go in the garage, and I wrote it down, and what's gonna be in the house, and I wrote that down too. I also had a little category for what I'm making now. So those are the things that came out. In fact, right now I discovered I had a ton of chicken bones in there, enough to make some chicken broth. So I am making some homemade bone broth today, as well as zucchini bread. I found all the grated zucchini bread. So we're going to have ourselves a little feast later today, but I'm really excited to kind of walk you through the process of how I'm going to put all this together. As I wrote everything down, I thought through which recipes I wanted to make, and I built a meal plan based around that. So I built a meal plan for this week, and then I'm going to be using my list to build my menu plans for the next following weeks. And I am really excited because we have some ingredients that I didn't realize we had. And so there's some meals that I just hadn't thought about in a long time. So it'll be fun to kind of revisit some of our favorite meals as I work our way through eating us out of house and home. And that's literally what I feel like we're doing. We're trying to eat through the inventory we have so that we can save some money in our uh, food bill. Because even when I went to the store today, I really had to fight that urge of, oh, I always buy this and oh, I always buy that to stock up. Well, I need to stop stocking up because I've been doing that for a long time. We need to eat through what we have so that when I start replenishing food, I know it's food that we need and I know it's fresh so I don't have to throw everything away. So I'm going to show you my freezer and show you some of the things that I'm doing to get organized and to attempt this pantry challenge in my freezer. Does that count? <laughs> Welcome to my freezer. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys kind of how I did some of the organizing for my freezer. Now one thing, okay, this guy, it's in a random spot, but one thing we do, I think I've mentioned this in other videos, is that we do freeze our little um, yogurt tubes, and so we have a little spot for that so the kids can get, get to that themselves. We have vegetables on one side, and then we also have all the frozen fruit that we use on the other side. I like to cook organically um, as much as possible, so I found that it's cheaper to buy frozen organic fruit, like strawberries, that don't go bad, and we actually end up saving money when I do that. So that we do tend to keep a lot of frozen fruit on, uh, stocked up. This is kind of our quick, easy, snacky area. <laughs> See, lots of frozen. See, this is what I discovered when I was going through everything. I had no idea how many frozen pizzas we had stuffed in the bottom of this freezer because this is the big guy. This is the drawer that I found lots of stuff all stuck underneath. Now, right now, what I did to organize this 
And no, it doesn't look incredibly organized, but I have food that I am going to be cooking on top. So my shrimp, I'm going to be making a shrimp stir fry. I have all of my freezer meals filed over here. These are some of my quick, easy meals as well. And then these pot stickers, I don't know. I'm going to make something with those this week. Maybe if it's just a little snack for everybody. But I'm keeping a lot of my meats here, some of our packaged box things, as well as um, chicken feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I have chicken feet in here uh, because I use it in my bone broth. But that's always a funny thing to find in the bottom of your freezer. Um, so that is what I have in my freezer. And um, that is how I organized it all out. Welcome to my garage freezer. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys kind of what I have going on in this freezer as well. Um, I have all of more of our frozen fruit there, including frozen straw, um, frozen cranberries, excuse me, because cranberries don't seem to be kept in stock for the whole year. They kind of just come around around fall and winter. And I love adding fresh cranberries to different recipes. I have a lot of our meats that I use down there and then I use the door to store some of our burritos and we've got all kinds of different things and we've got more pizza. See, I told you I have a ton of pizza going on in here. I wanted to show you one of the key things I do to stay organized in this garage. Now, I did just move several of these meals into the house, so I do need to update this um, to make sure that I know where everything is. But I use a dry erase pen to go ahead and list out the things that are in the freezer so I don't lose track. And this is why I, I had just finished organizing this um, a few months ago. So that's why I knew that this freezer was in pretty good condition. The inside needed some TLC. So as I pull things out, I just kind of wipe them out. I need to come back with an actual you know, rag and wipe them out a little bit better. But I use a dry erase pen to make note of what foods I have in here. The key when you're using a dry erase pen in the freezer is to wipe it down first and then use your dry erase pen because otherwise it's really hard to write with. And then again, I'm gonna have to go and clean that up. I wanted to take a couple minutes to kind of show you how I actually figured things out and calculated out my meal plans based upon what I had in the freezer. So I kind of just started by, again, I'd already mentioned that I separate the, separated things out between house and garage, and I listed out what they were. And then you can see here that I planned out what we're going to be using a lot of these different ingredients for. You can see your list does not have to be pretty. It doesn't have to be neat. It just needs to be done. So I want to encourage you to just take time, figure out what in the world you've got in your freezer, especially down at the bottom. That's where I found some meat that needed to be thrown out. Unfortunately, I had freezer burn on a lot of meat, including some of that mystery fish that I found. Um, so. You know, we can use our money better and use our food better when we do know what we have. So again, all it really takes is taking the food out, getting a quick inventory of it, making a list, and then meal planning off of that list. It didn't take me long to just go through and figure out what I wanted to make with all the different items that I found. And what I do from there is I use my pretty little menu planner that I have available for free on my site. So if you go and you join the Raising Clovers community, which is just raisingclovers.com slash join, um, you get access to all of my free printables, including the free menu planner and a copy of my new book, Sanity Savers for Moms. So we'd love to have you join me there and really hope we will continue to connect here on YouTube as well. Make sure you subscribe. That would totally bless me that we're con uh, connecting. And if you have any ideas, ideas for what to do with mystery fish, I would love to see that in the comments because I tell you, fish is the one thing and that's why it gets freezer burn. I don't always know what to do with fish. So I have like a good tuna recipe and a few other good recipes here and there. But if you have ideas for like just any old fish that I don't know what it is, I would love any tips you have. So please make sure to comment down below if you have any good recipes that I should be trying. But hope we will continue to connect either here or on Raising Clovers and hope that you found some simple solutions to add some more joy to your life and also hope that we will connect on Periscope. I don't know if you're familiar with Periscope, but I try to jump on Periscope Monday through Friday around 2.30. And I do typically do a, that's a lot of do's in one sentence. I do try to do a menu planning uh, Periscope once a week. So hope we connect there. Take care and have a really great day. Bye. Did you make a video?